I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to roast cauliflower. Now I've shown you how to do it on a skewer set and make sure you check out that recipe because it's super cool, beyond. Uh, but tonight I'm just going to do it in a plain old roasting pan. Now I've got a whole head of cauliflower and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, cut it in half and get rid of that core and split up those florets into nice workable pieces. If you want to save the cores, you can so that you can make a flavorful broth at some point. Put it in a resealable plastic bag in your freezer. Now I'm taking, I'm separating the florets, that's it. Now I'm going to use the whole head of cauliflower tonight just because we're going to be hungry and we want that. And I'm also going to be able to use that for other recipes this week. Some of them you need to cut apart and if you do, just make sure they're nice workable chunks that you can eat. Something like this, something you can work with Okay, on I'm preheating my oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, some people bake and roast theirs a little bit higher, even at 500, but it has to be a great deal um, lower time frame, uh, but I'm going to let it go for a little bit longer. I'm actually cooking chicken breast this evening with the bone in, so it's going to take a little bit longer. I'm getting these prepared and I'll put them in mm, slightly after I start my chicken. So let's get this going. I have a nice roasting pan. Okay, Into my pan, I am spray the bottom or uh, use olive oil or I have some bacon fat. Just I just have bacon fat around because we've been cooking bacon. So um, that's what I'm going to use to grease the bottom of my pan. Gorgeous. Now I'm going to put them all in here. It's going to be easier for me to manipulate them in there and turn them around and make sure they're coated in everything I need them to be coated in. If they're in that. Next thing's next. I, we made a chicken last night and I kept the beautiful chicken juices. And that's actually what I'm going to toss these guys in with a little bit of olive oil as well. Um, if you don't have this, uh, not I mean, not everyone has just chicken fat hanging around from the night before. Uh, if you don't, then use olive oil in replacement of this. I have probably two tablespoons of the, of the juices in here, and that's going in right I'm now. also going to drizzle it with about one tablespoon of olive oil. A ton of freshly cracked black pepper to your own taste. A little bit of cayenne on top, whatever kind of chili you like. We just like a little bit of heat, just needs a little something. Some salt, sea salt, and the juice of a, about a, my whole lemon, maybe a half of yours. I don't need a lot. Maybe about two to two and a half tablespoons. Don't get those pits in there. So that's what it looks like before it's ready to go in. And I'm waiting for my oven to preheat to get my chicken in. Well, my chicken has been in for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. My cauliflower is going in now. I have turned down the temperature of my oven to 350 degrees. So we're gonna let this go. This is probably gonna take, I don't know, I don't know how long. You wanna wait till it's knife tender or fork tender. And it's probably gonna be, I don't know, I'm guessing 30 minutes or so. I have some nice big chunks, so we'll see. But I'm gonna check them in about 15 minutes just to make sure all is well. Okay, this cauliflower was in with the chicken for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, I would say. And now the chicken is done. I wanna get these going. My chicken is resting. So I turned up my heat to about 400 degrees. You could even go up to 425 if you like. Keep your eye on them and let them go for, I don't know, 15 more minutes at least and check on them. Okay, these cauliflower need to be moved around a bit. They're browning up slightly on one, some of the sides and that's what I'm looking for. And now I'm just going to stir them up. And I'm also going to test for doneness with a knife just to see how we're coming. These won't take much longer if they take any more time. They look lovely. Make sure they're coated in that beautiful juices on the bottom. Now at this point, if you wanted to, you could add some Parmesan cheese and throw it back in there and finish it off. But to me, I don't think it's necessary tonight. Let's see what's going on with these guys. See how done they are. Mm. Just a little bit longer. Oh, those are good. Those are fabulous. I'm gonna say maybe another five minutes and that's it. Back into the oven. These are gonna be awesome. Okay, this cauliflower is definitely done. Let's take it out. Oh man, I can't wait to eat. Okay. This. I'm just gonna stir this around just a little bit. Coat them all up again. I love the fact that just these little tiny 
corners and edges get a little bit ground up. Check it out. Look at that. Gorgeous, right? Now this could serve probably for four to six people, I would say, at least. Um, it's, there's quite a few cauliflowers here. Yeah, I would say four, at least four people, five people. And that's a healthy serving. So let's try some of this. I can't wait. Ooh. Now tonight I'm serving it alongside mashed sweet potatoes. Make sure you check out that recipe. Those guys are awesome. Those potatoes. Oh my goodness. There you go. Don't they look beautiful? Mm, mm, mm. Now you could sprinkle them with some fresh parsley, but I'm moving fast tonight and we're all ready to eat. So that's how we're rolling tonight. Just try like one of this. these. Beautiful. So easy, so simple. You could even grill these on the barbecue if you like. It'd be a really good, nice, nice touch. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Those are fantastic. I'm very happy with those. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. And alongside this, I'm having a lemon cam pot pepper roasted chicken breast tonight. It's gonna be a gorgeous meal all together. Make sure you check out those recipes. So that's like how you too. roast up lemon cauliflower. That's it, that's how you do it. And uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim Eve, the capital E. Like the fan page, facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.